So uh, this next test uh, is for the grain size distribution uh, for coarse grain litter materials. Uh, essentially, we will use this stack of sieves to measure how much mass we obtain at different particle sizes. So effectively, we're going to measure uh, how much mass there is greater than a certain particle size, and that will give us a distribution of what particle sizes are present in the material. Um, so for this test, we'll start. Um, get about one kilogram of the material to start with. I'll just put the pan on and I'll stir it. Um, that will do. Now this is a sample material. So it's important that you get uh, a representative sample. So I'm just kind of mixing the material around a bit before we start sampling. Now I'll just scoop out. In this part of the test, it's not that important how precise the number is. Um, this is roughly one kilogram to start with. And as I was using, it's not that important whether I use some material or not at that stage of the test. Now that I've uh, like, taken my initial sample, it's important that I make sure I keep all this material together. So if I, at any point, if I stumble and I lose some material, I can start the test over. So uh, this is my I'm going to record my initial max, so I'll say I should expect 1,044.500 grams. So at the end of the test, I'll expect to have that much money. Whatever I don't get back will be an experiment to give. Okay, so we'll set that aside for now. Uh, next step is to set up one system. So obviously it's very important that the stack of sieves goes from Four so you can see this whole number four sieve. Uh, number four sieve is 4.75 millimeter particle size. And as it goes down the stack, sieve numbers increase. So we have number 18, and then number 40, and then number 60, and the one point, number 200, and then the pan. The pan is just the bottom that falls through. As the sieve number increases, the particle size decreases. So as I said, number four is a 4.75 millimeter. Number 18, those are one millimeter particles. Number 40, those are 0.425 millimeter particles. Number 60, 0.25 millimeters. Number 120, 0.125 millimeters. And then number 200, that's the 75 micron. 0.075. So the particle size decreases. Another important thing I want to check for in the test setup uh, is to inspect all of your sieves. Uh, make sure there's no particles stuck in them on previous tests. Because if there's particles stuck on previous tests and you're uh, packing them out and some of those particles come out, now you get some extra mass on that sieve. Uh, it's not actually particles. So it's important to make sure there's no particles stuck. So just do a quick inspection. Also, you usually want to inspect, especially with minor sieves, uh, if there's any damage, like if there's a uh, hole uh, in one of your smaller uh, sieves, then that can draw your test results. We've all been inspecting all these sieves already. Uh, so now I set up a sieve stack and a sieve shaker. Uh, my next step will be to take my uh, test sample. I'm going to be really careful about to use any material, and then I'm going to pour it into the proper sieve stack. Be careful because I don't want to lose any fine particles. But I think it's fine. Make sure that I can do that the other particles are still stuck. Uh, just set my pan back on the scale. And my pan, because I carried it at the start of the test, this actually gives me good confidence that I did get all the material in the six pack because it didn't see over. So right now, all of my mass is on the six pack. Um, so the next step uh, is to put the cap on the six pack. Cap on. 
making sure it's kind of secure. So I'll keep doing that as we go down the slide. So I'm going to mix it off. This is the number 18. So you can see number 18 is the sort of like smaller graph size particles. So I'll pour that onto the wheel. Again, I'll go slightly top. And then use the brush to make sure all the particles come out nice and So now this is the cumulative mass. So this is the mass that was on the number 18 plus whatever is already there from the number 4. So it's already had this quantity plus the zero. So I'll keep doing that as we go out the stack. Now we've got up to the number 40 sieve. So you can see we're getting into sand size particles here. So we're getting complete sand. Pour that onto the wheel here. Very fine sand at this point. 
particles, but they're still same size particles, so you don't have like a power at this point yet. Now I'm going to be more careful when I'm tapping the suit because these finer fit meshes are a lot more delicate. So just brushing out, make sure I get all the material out. Okay, so now we're close to the mass, and I'm going to be Now we're at the number 200 sieve. So the number 200 sieve is sort of the cutoff between uh, sand sized particles and then silt and clay to the other side. So you can still see we have grain sized particles, um, but they're getting very fine. Extra careful with the number 200, it's a very fine um, sieve size. Um, usually, we don't make sieves smaller than that, like they do exist, but they tend to break all the time uh, because the mesh is just too delicate. Um, so, now we're close to the mass. Okay, and then finally, we're going to be okay. This should be everything that's left. Everything that we have in here is sort of silk clay size, it's a very fine powder at this point. Um, in principle, I should get the same mass when I pour this out because I have additional Start I had about 1,045, I ended up with about 1,042. So I lost about 3 grams in the process, but it's <laughs> less than 1% here. So we would be fine with that. We need much more. So now what we will do is we'll wrap that material, uh, as you can see, in the lab procedure, uh, and we'll do some grain size distribution uh, to classify that soil using the USCS. Right, so that last step, of course, is to clean up. 